Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. The words we use are either a virus or their potential to our future. One of the things we have to realize is that the words we use, when we use words, that really triggers something inside of our mind. You realize that we don't really see with words. Those words are all converted to pictures. And each one of us, as we walk this face of the earth, we have different words with different pictures, which means that everything that I know to mean a certain thing doesn't necessarily mean that's what you know it to mean the same thing. We have to be really careful in our communication. Communication is more precision than most people believe it is. Most people think you just talk and use a little bit of slang here and there and people are going to understand it, but they're really not. If I say the word flower, this is an example I've used before here on the tune-ups. If I say the word flower, what you see in your mind is probably different than what I see in my mind. It could even be the same kind of a flower, but the picture is going to be a little bit different. That's what we call a complex equivalency, or our model of the world, the way we see it. Now here's the point of today's tune-up. With communicating with people, no matter whether you're at work, whether you're selling something, whether it's with your children, whether it's with someone else in your life, when you operate at a complete flat level, and that means emotions aren't high, emotions aren't low, you're feeling good, your words are what we call a zero point of true meaning to you. When you elevate your anger, when you get upset, your words take on a whole new meaning, not only to you, but the way you deliver them to someone else also creates another meaning based upon their belief system, their model of the world, and how they view you. You know, it's hard sometimes to go through life perfectly perfect all the time. And the truth of the matter is we're all perfectly imperfect. And that's okay as long as we understand the rules and abide by those rules. It's not okay to yell and scream and expect someone else to know exactly what you're saying. It's not okay to let them do that to you either. If you tolerate that in your relationship, walk away until everyone calms down. If you are a perpetrator of losing your temper or getting angry, that's usually coming from a place in your complex equivalency that you've had fear triggered in you from a past experience. That's your business. However, that's also your business to take care of so it doesn't splash out on everyone else. When you say something, other people see pictures. And the pictures they see are based upon what their model of the world displays to them, not what your model of the world is. That's how come we get in so many disruptive communicative events in our life when people don't understand what we're saying and we thought we were perfectly clear. Today and the rest of this week, not only are we visualizing how we want our day to go and we're visualizing how we want this week to end up, let's also pay attention to what we're saying and understand everything we say probably is not understood 100% by those other people we're talking to. We have to deliver our intention purely, cleanly, and on purpose. Let's work on that and understand every time you open your mouth, Never expect everyone to understand exactly what you mean or what you're saying. Even though we all speak the same language, we really don't. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a very clear, communicative day today. And let's get going on that cruise. Let's get her done. Let's have some fun. I'm looking forward to more of you signing up. All right, until tomorrow, wishing you a very good day. Bye-bye.